Hi, have you met a vet? Let me introduce you to her. Hey guys and welcome back in. Today we're going to look at this beautiful wig. This is a vet from Push Hair by Wig Studio One and Wig Studio One sent me this to review for you today. Let's look at a vet. I have not tried this wig yet and I was so excited to get it. I love all these push pieces. Now, uh, if you have any questions, please just reach out to support at wigstudio1.com and also I will put the link to this wig in the drop down box. Now, we've talked about push hair before and as you know, Wig Studio One collaborated with Beltress and they created some of these beautiful heat friendly synthetic wigs in tin, a Beltress most popular color. This one is brown sugar sweet cream. We've looked at it so many times, but I think on this length of wig and the way the color is placed, it is beautiful. I think it's just so, so pretty. Now, as I mentioned, these are heat friendly synthetic fibers and you will need to add some heat to these on occasion. Now, I'm not wearing a collar, but just the normal wear and tear of this, you know, rubbing against my neck, I have a, if I had a collar on, rubbing against your clothing, they are going to need heat. They're gonna to start to feel a little frayed on the ends. I would encourage you to don't let that wait. Once I start to feel mine fray, I'd immediately put some heat on them. We want to extend the life of these wigs as much as we can, right? Now, Beltress recommends that you keep your heat uh, no higher than 270. But if you have any questions, again, please don't hesitate to reach out to support at wigstudio1.com and they can answer any questions you have about heat-friendly synthetics. Now these beachy wave styles are just all the rage, aren't they? And they've been around for a while now. I don't think they're going anywhere. And I think the reason of that is they just look good on most face shapes and on most people. You know, where I like, what I personally like is the casual feel of this. Can throw it on, you can dress it up, dress it down. I just like that I can take this out of the box and run my hands through it. And that's what I'm doing. So I want to show you my wigs aren't highly styled or anything else. I'm going to get my hands all in here. And I'm going to pull these fibers away from this cap. Wake up the fibers of your wigs. You know, if you've had them stored in the box or you just got them and they've shipped, they can get kind of smushed down in that process. So always wake up the fiber of your wigs. Let them have some natural movement. And you can easily do that just by getting your hands in there and messing them up a little. Now this fit me perfectly. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference and I did not make any adjustment on this. I'm gonna show you the inside of the cap in a minute, but look at this gorgeous, gorgeous lace front. Extends down into the ear tab, which I personally love and appreciate. Has good coverage. I like how this came out of the box already contoured up like this. I did not have to do anything to it. So I don't have to steam it. It's not falling in my face. And I really like that about this wig. Okay, so I am going to insert some video up here of the inside of this cap. I want you to look at how beautiful the lace front is here. Also, like I said, it's extended all the way down, and it is a truly seamless monotop. There's no seam running across there. I love that in these push pieces. It is open wefted, it has closed ear tabs with stays, and an extended felt nape. All right, let's quickly go over the specs. The crown of this one is 11, as well as the sides are 11. Now, the nape is three, and this only weighs four ounces. It's, it's very lightweight, and like I said, there's no permatease in this wig. It has this large mono top. It's low density. I mean, it seriously has it all. Let's look at brown sugar sweet cream, one of my favorite colors. As you know, I've been wearing it a lot lately, and I know I will continue into the fall and winter. It's created by all using all these different shades of brown. It has dark, medium, and light brown going all through it. Then it has these creamy highlights, which I think are so beautiful. I do not think they're overdone. I don't think they're stark in any way. And then it has its rooting. Now, it's not too highlighted around the face, and I appreciate that too. A lot of people do not like the heavy, 
heavy around the face highlighting. I don't think this one is. I don't mind it. I don't mind the heavy highlights. I kind of like it, but I know a lot of you don't. So I don't think this one has an overabundance of highlights around the face. All right, for styling, first of all, I just have some plain water. This is just plain water. You've seen me do that many a time, and I always like to just run a little through my wigs when I put them on. It kind of tames any flyaways, separates these fibers, kind of gives it that beachy look messes them up a little and i always just do that it kind of helps me see what i'm working with and get that natural movement of these again as i had said this is going to need some heat and how i will do that on this wig is this really tiny uh curling iron i like this uh, for the ends of these and i would run this through here very easily and you'll be able to take care of any fraying on the ends Super easily done, in my opinion, with one of these small curling irons. Thanks for stopping by today and having a look at a vet with me. I am so glad I got to show it to you. I hope you will try it. Again, I'll put the link below. And don't forget to join us in our private Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Thanks for watching and have a great day.